Hey Taurus, hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-January 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And as always, it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Do keep that in mind please. And yeah, if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed for general readings. All right, Taurus, what is happening for you second half of January 2022? All right, for the main situation, we have the Four of Pentacles crossed by the Two of Cups. Okay, so there is a little bit of stubbornness here on somebody's side. Could be you, could be them, but it feels like somebody's kind of holding back um, from a connection where there's actually mutual love here. For the recent past, we have the High Priestess. Okay, so yeah, keeping this to yourself. Either you or them. Somebody is keeping this to their own self. I feel like it's the same person who is kind of holding back here. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so two nines. A little bit of difficulty here that you're going through. There's a lot of stress um, and just feeling like, like things are just very, very challenging at the moment. Let's see for them. We have the Hierophant and we have Strength. Okay, so that's your energy showing up here for them. We also have Leo showing up um, in their energy. So I feel like this person is really wanting a deep connection with you or feels this deep connection with you. This is somebody who, who would want commitment. Um, I actually feel like they're holding back though as well. I feel like you're both holding back from each other, but for different reasons. Let's see, what is coming up? We have the Wheel of Fortune, okay, so a shift. Things are turning in a different direction. I do feel like it is going to be positive. Yeah, and then the message for you here is the Ace of Cups, so that's love. Pure, genuine, unconditional love. Of course, it could also be self-love, but it's self-love that is required before we can actually um, provide unconditional love also for somebody else. So yeah, things are feeling challenging at the moment, but I feel like there is a shift that is coming up, which is moving this whole situation towards love. So let's actually clarify and get some more details here. Cards are acting up. That's probably <laughs> your anxiety here. All right, let's see. Four of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. What is this about? All right, and we have Temperance, the Ten of Cups, and the Chariot. Okay, so Sagittarius as well as Cancer um, showing up here. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely love here, okay? This, I, I do feel like this is a very powerful connection here that you have with somebody. Um, and you do feel like this is somebody that you belong with or you feel like this is somebody that that you could really have that, that fulfillment with. I don't know what it is that is keeping this from happening just yet. But it seems to be like there's a lot of, it could be some kind of an insecurity here. A fear of losing something with that Four of Pentacles. But I feel like it's mostly like just being a little bit, um, when I say stubborn, I don't really mean it in a very negative way. It's just coming in more as like, no, I, I'm sticking to what I believe kind of a feeling. And again, this might be you, but it could be the other person. And so because of that, I feel like, you know, everything is taking a little bit of time. It's interesting that we have temperance, you know, which does talk about patience and it can talk about things, you know, kind of just taking their time to, to happen. But we also have the chariot, which is very quick moving energy. So it feels like there's this 
like somebody pressing on the brakes, like something wanting to move faster or one of you wanting this to move faster and then the other person is kind of like, no, 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 wait. So it feels kind of like that. Um, and just kind of like really stuck on, no, because this is how it's been. So we can't just speed up now because, well, because it's always been moving slow. And so it, it feels like there's some kind of insecurity surrounding that there being a shift in things picking up speed. That's what I feel the stubbornness is about. All right, let's see the High Priestess for the recent past. Okay, so we have the High Priestess again, the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Somebody's intuition has kicked in here. Somebody's intuition has kicked in, but it's like they're still keeping quiet, still keeping their distance, even though their intuition is telling them to move towards what would bring them that love. Because it's here. I mean, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, <laughs> right? It's here. Um, it feels like somebody's just kind of it, trying to ignore their intuition and also keeping quiet about what their intuition is telling them. Not only towards the other person, but also towards everybody else in terms of keeping quiet. Like they're just not sharing this with anybody. And I do, because this is the recent past, I do feel like it's been, this is like an energy that has been here for, for a while. Let's see that Nine of Swords. In your energy okay so it's interesting that we have the nine of swords and the nine of wands for you and then clarifying the nine of swords we get the nine of wands <laughs> again like repeating cards we have the ace of cups showing up again as well as the two of wands yeah it's like you're feeling stressed because you feel like this love this connection that you feel with somebody is very challenging. There's something very difficult about it. I feel like it, for a lot of you, it might have like a long history that has been difficult. And it's like, because of that, you're, you're trying not to take any actions towards this person, but at the same time, it is creating st stress for you. Like you're still feeling upset about whatever it is that has happened or about the fact that this is this is so challenging. And it's like you're just kind of like, almost in this like waiting energy, not necessarily waiting for them, I'm not getting that. It's more of really just not moving, not knowing what to do. For some of you, it could even be just waiting to get over this, waiting for this anxiety to go away. Um, and I don't think it's just gonna go away just like that, like just on its own by not doing anything. And I'm not saying necessarily you have to do something towards this person, but I feel like it's just, it's not just going to go away. Let's see the Nine of Wands. And I'm not saying you, because <laughs> that might have sounded like I'm telling you, stay in this forever, you're doomed to feel this way forever. No, I'm not saying that either. But we'll see, we'll see what comes through for you. Um, because you definitely, definitely do not need to stay in this type of an energy here. It just feels like there's something that you can do in order to help yourself to get out of this energy. So clarifying the Nine of Wands, we have the Hierophant, which was also in their energy, which is representing you as well. Let me get one more. Or two more, okay. The Nine of Cups and the King of Swords. So it could be that there's there's either some kind of a formal commitment. It doesn't have to be a relationship with a person. It could be it could be anything. It could even just be um, very deep belief systems that might go um, that might be contradictory to what it is that you would want or to what you feel would actually bring you bring you pleasure.
And I feel like you're just, you know, really set in some kind of a belief or in some kind of a view, a particular view that you might have. And I'm not judging this. I'm not saying if it's if it's um, wrong or right, but it feels like that's actually it's it's like it's contradicting what you feel like you would you would want. And this is one aspect of what makes all of this so challenging for you. And it's going to be different for everybody. And again, roles can, can be reversed. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Hierophant. All right, we have the Moon, so that's Pisces. We have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Page of Cups. This person um, wants some kind of action here. They either want to take action or they want action from you. They're feeling a lot of emotions for you. They're feeling a very deep connection to you. But the, uh, I'm also picking up on some fear here or some kind of possibly even illusions, like not really knowing what's going on and possibly drawing some kind of conclusions that may or may not be accurate. And I feel like that has to do with what is going on with you. They don't really know. It could be that this person also has some deeply set views, but I'm mostly seeing this as it being you being in their energy, them thinking a lot about you, them wanting um, to have some kind of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, but just feeling very lost and feeling in the dark about about how to do that or if, if that would even be a good idea. And I feel like, because I do feel like they're holding back with strength being here actually. It, it's, it almost feels like it's taking strength for them to hold back from you. So let's clarify strength. Yeah, because look at this, we have the Three of Cups, the Devil, okay, so Capricorn also showing up here, and the Five of Swords. So, yeah, because, I mean, it could have been that they're building up the strength, right, to come towards you. And it's not like they don't want to, because, like I said, I'm picking up very clearly here that they do, and that's being confirmed also with the Three of Cups. However, with the Devil and the Five of Swords, it's like, there's a fear, just like I said with the moon. Um, there's some kind of a fear here. I feel like they either don't trust their own self or they're not trusting you. Or there's a fear that if they, if they are the ones to come forward towards you for this reconciliation or for some kind of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or whatever, that it might not yield good results. It's like they're afraid of the consequences here with the Devil and the Five of Swords. They're afraid that that might backfire on them in some way. And so for that reason, they're holding back. But I do see a shift here, so let's see that Wheel of Fortune coming up. The Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> that damn Four of Pentacles again. Um, I do feel like there's, um, there's a shift towards really coming together because I feel like there's going to be a lot of nostalgia here, a lot of longing for each other and because of that there might actually be this some kind of like just m more communicating than what it is now because some of you might already be in communication so I feel like this would be like okay you know let's have that deeper conversation for others of you if you're not in, in communication I do feel like that's a very high possibility here because there is a shift and there is a lot of nostalgia but it's like that that stubbornness is being carried with 
with this. Like it's it's still there. It's still coming in. So even if there is some kind of a um, meetup or some kind of contact, somebody is still going to appear very reserved. I I feel like it might be you. Could be the other person. It could be the both of you, because you're each holding back from the other, but for different reasons. All right, but we do have the Ace of Cups here. So let's see that, Ace of Cups. Which could be the potential outcome, it's just a message for you. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Star. Okay, so this is the message for you is that things are moving towards this Ace of Cups, towards that self-love, unconditional love, which will ultimately also bring um, your wish fulfillment. Movement towards healing, movement towards something beautiful, movement towards what your soul truly desires in this lifetime. And I feel like the message for you is to also to trust the process. There's a lot that is being learned here, especially when it comes to self-love, in order to have that wish fulfillment. All right, this is also Aquarius, by the way. So yeah, I mean, things are a little bit challenging at the moment, but you are being supported here, is the message. You are being supported. It's all about learning self-love at the moment, and that is actually going to bring in um, love with, with another person here. All right, Taurus, if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have the full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So yeah, it's approaching. It's approaching. It's difficult now, but it's, it's approaching slowly but surely. So Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.